Hello guys, and welcome to my milestone. Um, I'm very far from the last time you we did this, uh, where, where I showed did a milestone. Very, very far. Um, I am a little disappointed in a couple of factors that we'll get to in a moment. Um, but so far, here it is. I did what I said I was going to do. Made a basic layout of the ground floor and copied and pasted it 12 times going up. Um, I had to just kind of edit a little bit up here to be able to get this lip up top like this. Um, and then same with the back end uh, just to kind of make it as similar to the images as possible. I'll show off images of the real building. I have, I didn't do that in the other milestone, but I'll try I'll um, show off like some images from the front and the back just so you guys can see um, the similarities. Um, this kind of goes up a little bit. I didn't have any idea of what to do so that's just basically a block just for show um but that went up about like four levels stops and then this goes up to about where this is and um this top of the tower was a pain in the butt i really wanted to add this because this is like every time i see the tower this stands out to me the most i don't know what it is my dad said it's either something it's either something for air conditioning or some of the electronics I don't, I don't know it, it's weird so I just decided to fill that in um but talking about my milestone this week I set up and told myself that I need to get I need to detail all the floors that are playable add wall weapons add the buyable doors add perk machines and uh, the mystery box to certain levels all right so here's the thing I've done I've detailed all the floors. That's what I've been doing this entire week. I've literally just I completed all floors. Every floor is detailed the way I wanted to. Each floor has a color scheme. The real building apparently had departments. Each floor was a different department and each floor also had its own color scheme, so I kind of stole that. Um it's obviously not as this color scheme wasn't as bright as this is <laughs> with all uh, the orange and the red and you know it, Obviously, it wasn't as colorful as this, but um, I decided to steal that little fact. Um, in the real building, the fifth floor was the uh, criminally insane floor. So I did that as red. I thought that would be fitting. Um, and then, so starting, I'll sh just show it all off. So this is the player spawn. I'm going to add a zombie spawn here, a zombie spawn here. And maybe one popping up from the ground. Then I'll have my first buyable door. Here's a one perk machine and two wall weapons on either side. Um, I also added the um, clips around objects so the player doesn't just run through it. I um, one thing I learned was to watch out for that because I when I copied and pasted the in every freaking floor, I forgot to do clips for the stairs. So when I got into the game to try it out and go up the stairwell, I walked right through the stairs, not up, not not up at all just went right through them i'm like you know but i did one clip for one stair well and then i just copied and pasted it all the way up um but it was it just stuck sucked trying to line everything up so this is the first viable door you come in through here um then you got the main floor which is the lobby and i thought about doing this as like the visitor center uh the visiting area whatever um i added one wall weapon here this elevator is just for show. I think I might have a zombie spawn here. And I did four elevators the same one, uh, same like that. Um, I did this to show players that this is blocked off as well as a clip just to prevent them from walking through it. I also did a couple other things here and there just to prevent players from going to doors. Um, and just kind of like other smaller things just to be able to have them peek in thinking like, you know, hey, what's in there? You know, just get their attention. Um the stairwell doors will be buyable. Um, I also have just rooms with props in them just, just to come in. Here's the other wall weapon on this floor. Uh, nothing in here. Um, other wall weapon here. Other boarded up doors. And other, ex you know, other rooms. And then I blocked off stairwells to prevent... Because I didn't want the player to just go up one stairwell the entire time. I wanted them to be able to go back and forth, back and forth. So from here, 
you will take this stairwell. The basement, on the other hand, um, I decided to do all like the electronics and generators. This is where the power switch is. Um, over here, I wanted to add the morgue. So I just put in um, the real tower only had like six of these. But I just added more in just for show. Um, but the stairs over there, it doesn't work. So you come in through here, uh, go up the stairs. And then you're blocked here. You go in through here. And then you got to go to the stairwell over here. Then go up a few floors past the unplayable floor. You get hit by another barrier. And that's basically how it is. Then you, when you come on this floor, you go to this floor. I mean, um, this stairwell to go up. And then just back and forth. I didn't want them to be able to just go up one flight of stairs the entire way. So this was like um, the idea for like the shower room. So on this side of the building is all the showers going down. And then over on this side is all the tubs and stuff. Um, again, I had some doors blocked off. Uh, where was the gun on this floor? I think I, there's the perk machine. And then the gun was on this wall. And there it is. So I wanted them, in order to get uh, advanced from this floor, I'm going to make this a power door. So you need to turn on the power switch. Um, and same with the door in the lobby. And I want players to come up here drop down through this shaft to the uh, basement. That's how they get to the basement at, at first. And then they turn on power, and then, then this door opens, and then they go back up. So I wanted to just, like, instead of going right to the basement and turning the power on, I wanted them to just kind of, like, build the way up first, then drop down to be able to continue going up. Um, here's an unplayable floor, criminally insane ward. I added fences. Just to make it a little bit crazier, I did different doors so they're more, like, secure. <laughs> Restraint benches. Um, one hallway that's blocked off. One floor that's collapsed. And there's a perk. I just want to show off the floors. Uh, here's the kitchen. I decided to do... Um, a cafeteria for one floor. This is the one area of the cafeteria that I really wanted to give a lot of players space to run around and train zombies. Um, over here you got the perk with a little less room. Um, but I really wanted to stress the fact that somebody, people had one floor to have a lot of room to run around on if they wanted to. Um, this is all blocked off so they can't go in there. The zombie spawns on almost every floor are going to be here and down there. It may be in the elevator shaft. And this is blocked off, and I'll get to the next level, which is going to be the offices. I wanted to do a maze-like thing, and I also put in wall running so people can get to the pack-a-punch machine. Um, so you come in through the door down here, right? No. So you come in through the door over here. You're blocked in here, so I wanted it to be a maze. So you go through this door... This door, here's another wall weapon. You go through this door, you gotta cut all the way down here. Then come in here, you're blocked there. Then you're in the main hallway where you can go get pack a punch. Then you gotta go through here. I didn't want it to make it too crazy. Well, this is actually pretty crazy. <laughs> um, got some desks. And uh, I also wanted to recreate some rooms from the tower itself. This is gonna be one room. I'll show you a picture of it that I tried to recreate. Um, as best as I could. I know th the rooms are definitely different sizes, but I wanted to recreate certain rooms from the tower that are famous in pictures. Um, and then on the 11th floor, we've got the hospital. This is the last floor. So I added a bunch of things in. I added another wall run to get to this perk. This was going to be a mystery box. I can't do mystery boxes because I was looking all over. I don't know if anybody has some information where I could find the necessary resources available to get mystery box because when I was looking through this one guy's playlist of how to use this mod and the tools he told us to go to a link to get this information to set up the mystery box but the link is all expired because the video is like from 2016 so I can't do mystery boxes so I have to cross that off my milestone and I can't do 
I haven't done the buyable doors yet or the power doors. So that's one thing I haven't done. I've done perks. I've detailed all the floors and I've done wall weapons. But other than that, I haven't done too much of anything else. Um, there might be a zombie spawn there. And I wanted to have something crazy. Since you're up on the higher floors and they're more exposed to the, you know, the rain. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm losing the word here. Um, I wanted it to be more broken down up here. So I thought I would add in a ceiling that collapsed that would block off this hallway um, with the light still attached to it. Then this was also going to be a room, and I want to put a piece of graffiti here, and I'll show you a picture of that too. Uh, let's see, let's see. Oh, here's another special room, and I'll show you the picture. Notice how no other rooms have blinds, but I'll show you the picture that I was trying to recreate here. There's a couple of areas that I really wanted to recreate just because of how you know, I always see those pictures and I really enjoy them. So going from here, I'm pretty sure this is the stairway you enter. Yep. And then you go up and then this is where you start to get to the roof. Uh, I blocked all that off, pretending it's coming from the top ceiling. And then you go through the door and the buyable ending would be there. There's a wall weapon here. I wanted to put a perk here, but the perk wasn't available. I don't know what it is. But I have very limited resources with guns. I wanted to do so much more guns on this level. But you only have... How much weapons did I have? I literally only had... 12 weapons. 12 weapons to choose from. To use. And I used all of them. I put the Bowie knife in the basement. Oh, I haven't done that yet. Oh, that's a reminder. Bowie knife is in the basement, and then I just scattered all the guns throughout the, each floor. I wanted to do two per floor, but it ended up being two only for the uh, main lobby, and then one going up. So, that kind of blew. I wish I had more guns to use, and since I can't use the mystery box, that really, really limits the players. Yes, you could pack a punch your weapons that are on the wall, and the guns that are that are on the wall are pretty nice some of them um but i wish i could have done more i want to do um the label here i wish we could use have letters this there's some parts of this mod this tool mod tool to create levels that just bugs me i i wish I, they don't have letters that you could just be able to spell stuff out at least as far as i know and the other thing that made me not happy is I messed up somewhere. I was able to get into the game and test the, f the level out, but I was deleting a couple things that were bugging me here and there. I didn't delete the player start or the zone, but I deleted something and that messed something up because now I can't get back into the game. So I had to figure out, they say when you go, because as soon as I get into the game, it's instant death. It just ends the game right there. I'm like, okay, that's not very helpful. So now I can't test it. I can add the zombie spawns and everything else that I need to do for next week. But hopefully I could figure out how to get into this. Because I really want to test this level. And I really want to play this level. I put a lot of work into making these floors. And recreating this building. And I really hope I could at least get to play it. But um, <clears throat> that's all that I've done so far for this week. For the milestone. Like I said I couldn't do mystery boxes. Because it's missing something, which stinks. But uh, I'll get on top of the buyable doors. Next week we got zombie spawns, buyable ending, any different like particle lights effects, and then graffiti and wall quotes that that are from the building itself. So uh, enjoy some of the pictures from the original building, and I'll see you guys next week.